Hello everyone, it's Russ here from Xbox Gamer Reviews. Today we're taking a look at Tiny Troopers Joint Ops. This is by Epiphany Games and published by Wired Productions. It's available now, priced at $9.99 at £7.99. And we'll get started. So to start with, um, you have to do the tutorial. You can't do anything else until you've done the tutorial. So we'll do that quickly. And it nicely introduces you to the control system for the game, so it's left stick to move around the screen. You have to move from waypoint to waypoint here. Um, we go straight over to the firing range. So to shoot, you simply push the right stick in the direction you want to shoot at, and it'll auto lock onto the nearest target and destroy them like so. Uh, move on to the next area. There's another little mechanic with the game. Um, so you press the X button to take cover from explosions like that. And next we have to press the Y button to open the support menu and here you can get things like grenades, uh, rocket launchers and airstrikes. You can also buy um, med kits, uh, compasses and other little bits and bobs. I think that one on the right there, the little chap on the right there is when you've um, had one of your um, own troops killed and then you can call somebody in but anyway for this tutorial we need to just grab the um, the rocket launcher <clears throat> it comes in via airdrop and then what we do as you can see the right side of the screen there you've got three things right bumper right trigger and left trigger and they're the three support um, options that you can get for that so you've got grenade at the top the rocket launcher which we just got and then an airstrike at the bottom and the way these work is you have to hold the button that it corresponds to that one so we've got to hold the right trigger and move the cursor there with the right stick at the tank and then let go of the right trigger and that's how all that works and this bit's going to show us the map so we are the blue cursor on the map and our waypoint is the green cursor on the map so we've got to go all the way down there And that is it. Tutorial over. Pretty straightforward, pretty uh, simple. And you get a nice 50G achievement as well for doing that. Um, and that is the start of Tiny Troopers. So once you've done the tutorial, you then unlock the two campaigns and Zombie 1, which is the zombie mode. Uh, so we jump straight into Soldier Campaign. We'll take a little, little look at the zombies in a bit. Um, so yeah, straight in, you've got four difficulties, we'll stick it on two uh, bullets there difficulty wise. Um, and this is telling us that we've all been awarded one medal and 10,000 free command points to use them to purchase upgrades, new uniforms and hire specialist troopers. So that there is your upgrades, the gun, uh, so you can upgrade the damage, uh, your accuracy, fire rate, uh, range of fire, um, defence for your troops. Um, the default rank and their speed um, and they're all upgraded using the credit points we've not got enough at the minute um, this one here is your uh, camouflage outfits so there's a load of different ones there and they all do different things so that one there the uh, Union Jack theme one gives you extra hit points and um, the tuxedo one um, it's just an overall look one by the looks of it yep uh, squeaky leather what's this one so tiny outlaws so like a biker outfit so you get an extra 5,000 credit points after every successful mission and again they're all different there's a few there to choose from so um, take a look at them and pick one that suits you if you want the pink one like that <laughs> go for it um, and then this last menu here is where you can get extra troops to join you um, the Grenadier is there to choose from the get-go uh, and he costs 25,000 and they only ask for one mission. Um, you can of course unlock different ones using the medals and you find medals throughout the, uh, the levels as you play. Um, so yeah that's how all that is. Um, so we'll get 
jump straight in to the first mission. It, this sort of carry on from the tutorial. War. War is upon us, gentlemen. A conflict the likes of which we have never known. Latest reconnaissance reports confirm enemy movement at this location. Mission Control is sending you in to make them stop moving. Your mission parameters are simple. Eliminate enemy forces. So, do we get to <laughs> bring the boom? Oh, yes, lad. Yes, bring the boom indeed. Yeah, so we get a bit of a cutscene there, comic book style with some nice voiceover. And I was saying just before, um, the missions start off. Um, they sort of follow on from the tutorial, so they're not too demanding of you um, to start with. So this very first one is kill two or three enemies, um, like so. There's one more somewhere, there he is. Um, so that's mission objective complete. So the helicopter will come to pick us up. You also find, see that there, we just got some dog tags. They give you bonus points for picking those up throughout the levels. Um, some more over here somewhere. Yep. Let's grab those. Um, and then jump on the helicopter, and that's level one complete. So yeah, as I was saying, the uh, very first level is sort of carry on from the tutorial, just uh, ease you into the game, which is quite nice. Doesn't chuck you in at any deep ends. Um, so we scored uh, eighteen thousand in total there, and we'll go straight on to level two. Um, so we've not really got enough to do any upgrades just yet or we could do we could grab um, accuracy why not let's just grab that um, jump straight in And uh, so with this one, we've got to destroy the buildings as well as all the troops. Um, so we'll crack on with that. Um, as those of you that played this on the mobile will know that, um, well, say on the mobile, on the on the, the mobile version of Tiny Troopers, um, you had to sort of touch screen. So you touch the screen the way you wanted your troops to move, and then you had to tap the enemies, and it was a little bit cumbersome. And the way they've implemented the twin stick style for this is absolutely fantastic. Can't fault it at all. Um, visually as well, it's it's a little better, uh, a little more detailed. Why don't we just chuck that grenade in there to blow up all those mines? And that there is a medal that you can find, so that's the first one. Um, so yeah, save those up to unlock um, outfits and whatnot. And your extra troops to use for missions. Um, blow that building up. Let's kill these guys. Yeah, so I've enjoyed playing this. Um, it's been a nice little. I won't call it such so much as a game to play in between others. It's uh, sort of midway. A proper. It's a proper arcade game, I would say. Um, so, you know, a good half an hour to an hour's playing it. Um, get, gets you a nice fill of it and then come back to it later on. Um, yeah, it's got a little tiny bit of depth to it, so it's nice. The upgrades, um, different outfits like we've already mentioned. And yeah, I've enjoyed it. And you get the two campaigns as well um, to play. Uh, plus the zombies, which we're going to take a look at in a bit. Uh, so you can see there we've also got ourselves an extra guy joining the troop now that does vary from mission to mission um, the majority of the time it is just two of you um, but for this one we've got extra character there hands there is the odd occasion where you'll be all by yourself as well just one character to control um, and then we've got missions like this as well so this one we've got to protect the journalists so it sort of slows the pace of the game down a little bit rather than running about killing everybody we're walking protecting these and we still got to kill people um, just got to make sure that these don't die there's also missions where you've got to rescue hostages uh, there's survival missions oh we're not even shooting him there we go <laughs> and yeah so it's not all all the same 
so to speak, objective wise there's other stuff to do. And um, we just picked up a pickup off that character as well, this just give us an extra speed boost, so that's why we're running like mad. Grab these dog tags. Just keep an eye on them. Ah, oh, there's a medal over there. See, they're quite hidden, not uh, medal wise. Um, let's kill him. If he wasn't looking for it, he would never know that that one was there. Um, I like the way that the game sort of takes over cause, because your, char your characters are both controlled at the same time. If one of them gets snagged up, um, the computer will do his best to take over and make one of them catch up. Um, it doesn't always get it right, but it, it works well. Um, so yeah, I, I suppose it, it's a bit simpler than switching. I mean, to switch between characters that would have been a bit of a pain, I suppose. You had to have chopped and changed who you was controlling. So to have, control them all at the same time, and then the computer takes over if they get caught up on a fence or a rock. It's okay. Well, we lost somebody. I didn't even know we lost somebody there. Right, so what happens there, you got killed in action on hands. Um, you can continue on if you want to, um, and then you've lost him, and then you get somebody else replaces him. Or if you've got enough credits, you can bring him back to life. Um, well, sorry, not credits, you have to use your medals. So you revive hands with three medals, and you currently have three medals. So we we'll want to, so there we go, got him back. Because um, what happens is if you lose a character they, their rank goes all the way back down to zero if you like um, I'll jump into mission four um, oh, I never want it on that difficulty thank you so this one we're all by ourselves and I do believe this is a mission with uh, survival so rather than going for an objective we just got to make sure we stay alive um, until the helicopter arrives and um, this is the one that we've just crashed in um, and these are pretty straightforward as well. There is some later on. Some of these survival ones get a bit hairy. Um, uh, yeah, these these first ones are, are fairly straightforward. Like I said already, it just slowly brings you into the gameplay of the game. Um, and there's some tricky. There is some tricky ones later on. There's some more enemies show up that throw uh, like dynamite grenades. Um, there's also some flamethrower enemies. I think they're in the second campaign more than anything. Um, you also get some vehicles that you have to take out as well. In some uh, some of the missions, some vehicles to take on. So you've got tanks to blow up. Um, <clears throat> sorry, machine gun mounted like uh, pickup trucks as well. Little bits and bobs like that. And um, we've survived. And that is that. So what we're going to do now is we're going to show you um, a zombie map. And you see there's one there. There is also one in the other um, campaign in there and you've also got these four as well so there's six in total to play um, that one there ZFC is a bit of a mickey take of KFC and that's um, just com completely full of zombie chickens there's no other zombies to kill in that one and um, we'll go back in here and play this one though and they've also got leaderboards as well so you can see the leaderboards there um, and well, yeah, we'll we'll get cracking with this. Right, yeah. So we just start off as you would expect. It's a wave-based game. Um, very straightforward, simple to start with, and it gets progressively harder and harder. Um, these areas open up these gates and then you can go in and get some extra characters to join up to a maximum of four um, for you to control so 
So yeah, he's a pretty standard zombie survival game. Um, this. Um, so let's go and grab this character. He becomes available. And these are all a bit different as well. I know they get some different ones on the different maps as well. Um, so like these two are the same character. These two so have got a, a normal rifle there. Um, that chap in there has got a more precision rifle. And then we've got the chap in this door just behind us that's got the LMG. And there's another map that I've seen I've played on that's... Um, it's a bit more geared towards the heavy weapons, so the the final character that you can grab has got a minigun. So you know they're, they're not all the same; they all got different layouts as well. Uh, see, there's um, the zombie chicken one is less of a wave-based thing, and it's more of a get from where you start to the extraction point. Um, with the amount of chickens that are running around on screen, as you get further on into it, it does become really difficult. So. Um, yeah, they are they are fun to play. Um, there's one downside that I can only find with this game is that it's not multiplayer or co-op in any any way at all, which is a shame. But maybe we can't have everything um, for for the price of the game. You know, you're talking seven pounds ninety nine, and for the way it looks and plays, and um, for that price, and the games other games that are out are available at the minute at that same price point. Um, this is probably one of the top ones at that um, seven pounds ninety nine price. So yeah, it's not not bad at all. So if you're thinking of picking it up after watching this video, um, please let us know. Uh, see, so we've picked up the guy there with the LMG now, so that's pretty cool. But yeah, so please let us know if you've um, decided to pick the game up after watching our video. We hope it helped you out making a decision. Um, I know some people do try and steer away from the games that have been out on mobiles before but I can pretty much say after, after playing, I think I've still got it on my phone as well actually, Tiny Troopers, um, the mobile version of the game and this um, it has come across really well onto the onto the Xbox. So let's go and grab that. So I'm trying to concentrate and talk at the same time, it's not my biggest strong point I'll be honest. <laughs> Um, yeah, scoring while playing zombies as well. Um, obviously, get your points for killing the zombies, and some of them will drop coins and gold bars. And make sure you can grab them without putting yourself into too much of a bad spot. Um, they'll get you a decent score. I mean, the coins are worth 500. Um, like that, that. So yeah, do we get in yet? No. You can see they do become harder to kill, as well as other zombies spawning in. That guy there that spits stuff all over you. There's also a big, really big muscly one that comes soon as well. It's pretty hard to kill. this wave, come on. <clears throat> Alright, we get this uh, final chap now, this is the wave 10, so we should see the big guy as well that comes out of the ground whenever he turns up. Oh, and we get ourselves an achievement for that as well. We reach, reach wave 10 in zombies. And there we go. Oh, and there was another one there. Not left for dead. Get yourselves a full squad. Oh, there's the big dude. Right, let's try it. Get this airstrike on the go. Didn't realise we picked up an airstrike. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
We lost somebody. <laughs> I try to kill three of them in one airstrike. I'm sure there's an achievement for that. Uh, but I will end it soon. Uh, as we're nearly up for time, so. <laughs> there we go, that's one way to end it. Alright, so yeah, that's the zombie mode. I say there's a few other maps as well to play. Um, so yeah, this has been Tiny Troopers Joint Ops. As we said earlier on, it's available now. $9.99, that's £7.99. Check it out if you're interested. Um, yeah, please stick a like on the video if you enjoyed. Please subscribe if you've not already done so. Thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.